timer flash seven times. BT system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. All right. We are at our next job. And I'm fortunate enough to have a path. St. Mike was, was given a path. Let me turn on the light. There we go. Got the headlamp on. All right. Looks like a York. UPG. Yep. So on this house, uh, last year, we, uh, his condenser died, and he didn't want to replace all his equipment, so I gave him a 407C condenser, and he called me back about a week later and said, Mikey Pipes, the house has never been so cold. And I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> and now, he calls me up saying the system is frozen. Wasn't working, wasn't uh, cooling, and you noticed the fan wasn't running. All right, and the fan is not running right now. Let's turn off the switch right there. And let's see what's going on in here. Don't wanna lose the screws. Don't lose the screws. <sighs> see, I'm feeding you people. So make sure you help me and hit that thumbs up button. There he is. <laughs> there he is. All right. There's the motor. There's the control board. And there's the capacitor. So let's just check the fuse, which I'm sure is fine because the condenser comes on. Yeah, she's good. All right, now. We'll go check for power. So we have one line going there, right? And where is my common? Huh, interesting. Where is it? How come there's no common? So there's my blower motor. I have my ground. Blue wire it is on high. The brown goes to capacitor, purple goes to capacitor, and then one that line with the purple going to capacitor is also L2. So here's L1 right there, and L2. So we're gonna test for 240 volts between here, right, and, and there. So let's take this purple one off. That would have been an oops. Let's get the voltmeter out. And let's see what we got there. All right. Everything's not touching. Okay, good. Those are all good, right? Purples goes to there. We have 240 volts. All right. Now, let's test this capacitor. First, we'll make sure it's discharged. Power's off. That's how I discharge. Let's take off these two wires there. All right. And let's set this meter to that right there. Okay. And let's see if I can one-handed mic and do this for you guys, because you know I love to feed you people. Oh, well. Open line. See that? That should be. What does that say? 10? It's not. It's open line. All right, go to truck, get a uh, single 10. Okay. All right. Let's see how long it takes Philip to get me a single 10 capacitor from the truck. When he came in this morning, a little early. You know, normally the guys show up around 710, 715. Well, he showed up around 650. Walked in the office, sat down. And uh, they asked me, hey, can I do anything? And I was like, um, why don't you uh, take the garbage you left in front of the truck? And you know, I left his uh, yogurt, yogurt container. And why don't you take, get rid of your garbage out of the truck, all right? And why don't you take a look in the back of the truck and start getting a feel of where everything is? So he went 
to the truck, threw out his garbage, and then sat back down. <laughs> Can't make this shit up, guys. <laughs> oh, the adventures of Mikey Pipes. Gotta love it. Anyway, seriously, you need to uh, thumbs up this video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So while I'm waiting for him to come back, I'm going to go through the comments of the, uh, the Navian video that I just posted Friday morning and see uh, how that is. All right, stay tuned. All right, I got the new run capacitor in. It's purple with the brown and the other brown. And uh, I'm not going to secure it yet, but put the blue wire back on high. Let's turn it on. Wait a split second. And sure enough, she fires up. But we're going to take things a little step further. Let's test amperage, draw on this motor, make sure the windings are good. All right, 2.1. All right, let's power cycle it. Let's see if there's any spike in that upon startup. All right, 3.5, 3.8, and then with the 2.1. Let's read the label, see if we can decipher. All right, motor is 2.2. All right, this looks okay. If I'm doing something wrong, let me know, guys, in the comment section down below. You know, sharing is caring. And if you ain't learning something new every day, then you're in the wrong job. All right, or you're God. I'm gonna wait a second, let me just discharge this real quick. Good, perfect. And I'm gonna take out this and secure that. All right, I made sure the boot is nice and secure. It wasn't secure before. And I left it to the point where you, someone can read it without playing with it in the future. I'm going to take the wiring diagram, put that back where it belongs, and uh, take a quick peek at the coil. This is the back side of it, so we're not going to see any dirt, but there's the return. All right, let's put everything back together and uh, go on to the next. Remember that you're old enough. <laughs> Remember that old saying, GE, we bring good things to life? Um, 237. Oh, come on, you're a couple of years younger than me. Okay. Well, you know, that was a saying. We, I think it was GE, like the thing, we bring good things alive. Uh, yeah, so the you're very lucky. Uh, normally, when that burning smell you were occurring, you, you smelled, yeah. is the windings or the electrical component of the motor itself okay. um, burning up. Yeah. And most of the time, when that happens, the motor's shot. Yeah. So I expected to see that the motor's done. But when I went up there, I tested power going to the motor, which was good. Yeah. And then I tested this little guy right here. It's called a capacitor. It looks like a battery, yeah. right? But it's not really. Right. And it needs to, it, it has a rating and it needs to give that to the motor, you know, to run, right? right? But it was showing nothing. So basically the nine volt battery has zero voltage, so it's not gonna run. Yeah. Um, but now it's running. There, a little, with a little uh, disclaimer, if the motor's gonna die, it's gonna die in the near future because of the, the damage already done to it and how long it's been, how long it was powered on for while that was trying to start. Yeah. Uh, but I tested the amperage going to it and it's where it should be. Okay. So. That's kind of how much it's using or the amperage? Like yeah, the amount of current or, well, well yeah, I don't want to give you too much information, but yeah, how much, you know, power yeah. it's, it's using. So it, it's right now it's using like 2.3 amps of power. When it starts up, it normally doubles, which is like 3.8, but then it goes down to 2.3. It's and it's rated for 2.2. Two. Okay. It's like this on the label, on the unit itself, it says 2.2. Okay. So you're like a, little, you know, a tenth above that, but it's fine. But if, you, if it measured like really high, that means the motor's like... Yeah, that means the motor's on its way up, yeah. and it would probably die like this weekend. Okay. And again, it still may, and again, I'm not trying to wish bad, or you knock on wood, but uh, it's, it's a possibility. Well, so it's an old unit. Yeah. Is it... Parts replaceable, or is it the motor is replaceable? Okay, yes. so yes. that could. That's so if the motor does die, so if, if if listen, if you like say in the near future, hopefully not this week, and hopefully you know, yeah. a long time from now, yeah. do we what do we what you did in this particular case? It wasn't cool in the house. Yeah. You turned off the system. You went outside. You saw it was frozen. Do that. Okay. The sooner the better, because the compressor will still run. Yeah, because at that point your motor's already shot anyway, but you don't want to damage the compressor. Hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed making it for you. So if your central AC blower isn't coming on, 
first thing you got to check is power to the motor. If you got power to the motor, check the capacitor. Now, not all motors have capacitors. You know, some uh, ECM motors, X13 motors, don't utilize capacitors, so you're not going to see that. If you have an ECM motor, uh, it's probably shot. That's usually what happens. All right, make sure you uh, thumbs up this video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It's the best way to support the channel. And if you want some free stickers, if you want some free stickers, details in the description box down below. Thank you. God bless. Be well.